Thanks for checking out this week's Wednesday Wisdom. This week we're going to be discussing some basic rhythmic notation. For many of the exercises that I share, I'll be writing out rhythms or using standard music terminology and I'll just make sure that we're all on the same page. Now when it comes to basic notation, how it breaks down is usually referred to as the rhythm tree. Now before we jump right into the rhythm tree, let's just talk about the different parts of the notes. So first here, you can see we have the note head, which is just the circle. Sometimes it can be a different shape, sometimes it'll be a circle and it's actually filled in. It just depends on the type of note it is or the type of instrument that we're writing for. Then you can have the vertical line like this here, which is called the stem. And then you can have a flag, which will be hanging off there. If you have two notes back to back, that would normally have flags, you can connect them with beams. So this is essentially two notes that had flags that are back to back. Now with the rhythm tree, it just starts here with the whole note, which is just a circle by itself. This gets four counts. And then if you were to subdivide that into two equal pieces, you would get a half note. Now this you have uh, the note head empty with the vertical line. So now this would be beats one, two, three, and four. This is beats one or counts one through four, one, two, three, four. If you subdivide those in half, you would get quarter notes. Now those are gonna be solid filled in notes with a beam, excuse me, with a stem. So now we've got beats one, two, three, and four. If you subdivide that in half, now you're going to have the solid filled in note head with the stem and one individual flag. So you can write these as individual notes like this here, or you can connect two notes with a, with a beam like this, or you can connect multiple notes, in this case four notes, with one individual beam. And then those are eighth notes. And then if you subdivide those, now you're going to show that by having a solid filled in note head with a stem and two flags. You can again write these as individual notes or you can connect multiple notes with two beams. So if we think about again the whole note is going to get four counts, the half note is going to get two counts, the quarter note is going to get one count, the eighth note is actually going to get one half of a count and the sixteenth note is going to get one fourth of a count. It's going to be divided up. So what that would sound like, I have this metronome here. One, two, three. So the four, metronome right now one, is counting two, quarter notes. Three, so if four, I were to hold a whole one, note for two, four counts, three, it would sound like four, this. One, one two, three, two, three, four, four one, off. Two, that was for four, three, four counts. Four, a half one, note, two counts two, each, would sound like three, this. Four, one, one two, two, three, four. four. One, one, two, three, three four. four. One, two, the quarter note three, would have four, one count each, one, so it would sound two, like this. Three, four, one, one two, three, four. One, two, three. The eighth note four, would sound one, like this. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now when you get two, into eighth notes, three, we're gonna we four, use a term called one, syllables, and two, that's what you say three, when four, you see the notes. So one, in this case it would be the two, number and then the three, word and. Four. So one, one and two, two and three, three and four, four. and one, with sixteenth two, notes, three, the syllables would four, be one, one e and a, two, two e and a, three, three e and a, four, four e and a. One, Again, what that would two, sound like? Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. All right. So four, again, from the one, top, I'm going to do three, two measures four, of these. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, half, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three
one, two, three, quarter, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, eighth, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, sixteenth, one. And those are the basic subdivisions. Now these are all duple bass, meaning that the, we all we did was we subdivided the whole note by two. You could do similar things with triplet bass. So with triplets, the most common form is the eighth note triplet and the sixteenth note triplet. Now the eighth note, if you remember, where when you were dividing a quarter note into two equal places or two equal subdivisions and so now an eighth note triplet is mean that we're going to divide the quarter note into three equal uh, subdivisions so again if this is the one, quarter note two three four one if this is the two, quarter note three, then a, tri four, a traditional eighth one, note would sound like two, this three four one two three four one and two, two and three, three and four, four and one. If we divide two, it into three, three portions or four, three subdivisions one, instead of two, two, now it would sound three, like this. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Then, three, if you wanted to subdivide four, that, one, then you would do a two, sixteenth note three, triplet again. Four. One, a, a standard two, 16th note three, would four, be dividing one, a two, eighth note in half. Three, so now you would get four, four one, beats two, per quarter note. Three, now we're going to get four, six. One, so two, it would sound like three, this. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So this is regular four, triplet. One, two, Sixteenth note triplet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hopefully this session has helped in your understanding of some basic rhythmic notation. Be sure to check back next week and we'll continue with basic notation. But we'll be talking about drum set notation notes on the staff, measures, and so on. Um, if you have any other questions, again, feel free to email me at chris at chrisknox.net or you can also fill out the contact page on the website, www.chrisknox.net. Thanks and take care.